Okay, we have a time frame of weeks. Uh, we have grants here. Let's pull one more. So there might be a particular grant that some of you guys um, should be applying for. Um, this is for business purposes. This is if you are working on a particular business. It says clean up, um, clean up your environment and sell that ish. So I'm getting the sense of like some of you guys need to really, if you have some type of business proposal, um, you need to go ahead and go back through it. I'm getting, I'm hearing something about Elf on the Shelf. So some of you guys may have started like some type of business proposal, business plan, and you just left it on the shelf. It's collecting dust. Someone needs to, I'm hearing, uh, dust yourself off and try again, try again. So you need to dust it off. You need to comb back through it clean it up and then someone needs to go to I'm hearing something dot gov someone needs to go to like some type of government website to see what uh, type of grants you would qualify for based off of the business um, that you're trying to run um, it's really critical that someone gets there I'm hearing get your ish in gear so get yourself in gear um, I don't know if they're you're gonna find or you're gonna discover a grant um, that is closing out in a couple of weeks. I'm getting yes very strongly for that. Um, someone has, uh, well, yeah, it just says lack of commitment and consistency with whatever this business um, idea is or, you know, whatever it is that you're working on. And um, I'm hearing something about a whole lot of money, money, money. So someone is missing out on a whole lot of uh, money. I'm not taking those. It was a whole bunch that uh, popped out. But someone is missing out on a whole lot of money I'm also hearing something about notoriety. So there's something that comes along with whatever this is. Um, not to say that that's why you are building said business. Um, I'm hearing we are the world. So whatever the business idea is, it's because you actually want to help people. Um, and you want to help people on a really uh, grand scale is what I'm getting. So that's the real reason that you're doing the business. But a benefit of that is going to be um, something to do with notoriety um, wealth, uh, I'm hearing success and fame. Oh my God, it says the choice is yours. So I don't know if you have been getting some type of, um, uh, some type of clue, some type of hints, um, kind of getting, I'm he I'm hearing being kicked in your arse. <laughs> so I don't know if like, and, and what I get from that is maybe you've been working, I'm hearing nine to five, somebody's been working like focusing more on their nine to five and you've been really miserable. And the reason that you've been miserable um, is because you're working a job that you're not meant to work. Um, you are going to be much more satisfied and fulfilled if you just dust off that proposal or that business plan and get to it. It says tap into your talents. I'm getting the sense of like, if you're working at this nine to five or whatever you're doing it's like you're wasting a whole, a whole bunch of uh, chunks of cards keep coming out but um you're wasting some type of talent i'm hearing god-given talents and skills and like uh, i'm being reminded of um the three people like the talents that were given and you know the one that buried the talent and i'm got kind of getting um um seeing someone that's just like burying their talent like in the ground like it's uh yeah, that, that makes me feel really sad. So someone, if that's what you're doing, um, yeah. Let's see if we get anything else from this. Okay, it keeps trying to give me chunks and chunks of cards. So let's just see what they say. It says focus on solutions and options. So if some of you guys, um, I'm getting the sense of someone um, just really focusing on why things are not working out with the business or why you can't do this or can't do that. Someone needs to stop with all of the, I'm hearing lame excuses and someone needs to focus on like what it is that you can do. What are the solutions? What can you do? Don't focus on what it is that you can't do. Be true to yourself. Whatever this is that you're working 
working on. Like I'm hearing something about put your own stank on it, right? So don't worry about what other businesses similar to yours. Don't worry about what they're doing. Don't worry about, I'm getting the sense of like someone going around and yet like yapping and talking, talking about their business to family members and friends and them trying to give their two cents. Like no one cares. I don't know if you guys have like some ancestors that are working with you, but like what I'm hearing is who gives up? Like they need to work on their own thing. They need to worry about themselves. They need to worry, uh, worry about and focus on the things that they're not doing. Um, and they need to get their ish together. But your job is to focus on you. Um, this is, uh, it says lose, lose situation. And what I'm getting is that like, if you don't work on this business, you're just going to be left in a lose, lose situation. You're losing out. And I'm hearing again that we are the world. So the entire world is what I'm getting is losing out on something really grand, really great. Um, yeah, it says envision new possibilities back to stop focusing on problems. Stop focusing on like all of the um, the obstacles. I'm seeing mountains. So stop focusing so much on all of the obstacles that are headed your way. Have fun and delight and enjoy in all of the delicious solutions that you get to come up with. I don't know why I'm feeling like, oh my gosh, like, yay, another problem. Like someone needs to look at it more like that like stop focusing on the problems okay yeah tap into your talents came on out remember it was at the bottom so someone needs to really tap into i'm getting the sense of like someone who has a whole i'm here i'm hearing again a whole lot of money in this mother but anyways um some of you guys Okay, so all of these talents that you have, like you need to think about, put a dollar value on your talents for some of you guys is what I'm getting. Like, um, yeah, something, something that like if you have a really... Okay, so a lot is coming out about problems and solutions. So some of you guys are really big, really good at coming up with solutions, but I'm hearing to other people's problems. And um, there is a dollar amount that is attached to that or you should attach to that. Stop giving out advice to people for free. Like, mm, where them dollars at? Where them dollars at? Like, that's what I'm hearing because... I feel like you're dealing with people like they take those ideas and those solutions that you're providing and they are converting that into money, into dollar dollar bills, yo, but you're not. And that's because it's it's kind of like someone is stuck in some type of lack mentality. And the more you start to earn and see just how valuable your talents really are by putting a dollar value on it, like it's going to only encourage you to get back on, um, get back on that bike or something like that when it comes to your own business so I'm kind of hearing someone like well what am I what kind of dollar value what do I do like I don't know I don't know and right here it says for you to pause think and reflect so whatever if you do that I'm getting the sense of someone who is sitting there and meditating the answers are going to come to you you actually already have the answers so you just need to tap into that energy and stop making again what I'm hearing is lame excuses and get it done I love you so much. I hope that this message was helpful. Double tap um, that heart, like, follow, share, all of that good stuff, but get it done.